everyone. This is Patriot XL with Chris Creeman and of course Johnny, who is not Johnny Thunder, that is. I can't forget his last name. So a lot of people are really into Johnny Thunder. And those of you who don't know this, I'm going to let you in a little secret because he's not here today. Uh, he's really not a, that's not really. It's the left's bloodbath hoax. Hold on to your britches. Rather than the problem really being DEI, maybe the problem is you. We know what they want to say, uh, but they don't have the courage to say the N-word. They really hate DEI Thursdays. This card over here is for when you're being harassed, you'd hand it to somebody else and it gives them instructions on how they can help you. San Francisco has a new way to fight crime. Playing cards. Plus, she's back. Fake news. You've heard it, you love it, but who coined it? It wasn't Trump, it was Hillary. Hillary. It's now clear that so-called fake news can have yeah, real-world consequences. This isn't about politics or partisanship. Lives are at risk. But Hillary wasn't a saleswoman. Trump turned those two words into a campaign slogan. President-elect, go ahead. Go President ahead. President-elect, since you are attacking no, our not news you. organization, not you. can you give us a chance? Your organization You are terrible. attacking our news organization. Your organization Can you give us a chance Let's to ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, quiet. Can you state, quiet. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you she's, state she's asking a question. Don't Mr. be rude. Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be rude. You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm not going to give you a question. Can you state categorically? You are fake news. And whenever Trump said fake news, the media wailed, which meant it worked. Since they're all talk, no action, Democrats know the power of words. Last month, Trump said there'd be a bloodbath in the auto industry from China dumping cheap cars through Mexico behind Biden's back. And suddenly, the bloodbath hoax was born. And just like last time, Trump flipped it and branded them with it. Today, the former president in Michigan at an event he called Biden's border bloodbath. I stand before you today to declare the Joe Biden's border bloodbath, and that's what it is. It's a bloodbath. They tried to use that term incorrectly on me two weeks ago. You know, it's all about misinformation. It's a border bloodbath, and it's destroying our country. It's a very bad thing happening. It's uh, going to end on the day that I take office, which yeah. will be January 20th. It'll end. Donald Trump's turning disinformation into information. Here's the proof. A 25-year-old Michigan woman named Ruby Garcia, who's become a very well-known name, beautiful young woman, was savagely murdered by an illegal alien criminal under the Trump administration. This monster had been deported, thrown out of the country, wasn't going to be able to come back. And crooked Joe Biden took him back and let him back in and let him stay in. And he, he viciously killed Ruby. 25-year-old Ruby Garcia was found riddled with bullet holes on the side of a freeway. An illegal alien killer, led in by Biden. And just like Lake and Riley, the White House was caught flat-footed. There's another case of somebody who was in this country illegally, allegedly murdering a young woman this time in Michigan. Her name was Ruby Garcia. Donald Trump is out there now calling this Biden's border bloodbath. What do you call it? Well, first of all, uh, while well, I'm not aware of this, the specifics of this case, I mean, that's just terrible news. And uh, our thoughts and prayers obviously go to the family of uh, Ms. Garcia. I mean, that's, uh, that's the kind of news no family ever wants to get, ever. So, as, we, as you can tell, Trump basically said under him that wouldn't have happened. Actually, his, his administration actually arrested the same individual, and then Biden's administration brought him back in. And what that does is it kind of shows both sides of the aisle how messed up messed up his policies are biden's policies are and it's 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 not even it's not even up for debate as far as um the right and wrong on this one i mean we inherently as a country we do we do not want these type of uh offenders in this country i mean if we can if we can avoid it okay i mean um the ones we already have in here we have to deal with but the one we don't we shouldn't add to uh, that pool of these hardened criminals and uh, so that's something that he very clearly, you know, and, and with the support of, you saw the law enforcement in video, support Trump and being the law enforcement myself, I can tell you that, that law enforcement as a whole definitely favors, definitely favor Trump or Biden in like, it, in crazy numbers. So, um, yeah, so, th so there we are with that one. Nearly one third of Americans don't know viewing a solar eclipse with a naked eye can permanently damage their vision. There's only one other thing you can see that poses the same danger. Uh. 
Over the weekend, four inches of rain in Southern California set a new two-year total, not seen since the late 1800s. <laughs> there was so much rain in L.A., Governor Newsom had to move Tom Cruise to higher ground. <laughs> Texas Health Services are raising the alarm after a person tested positive for bird flu. Since it's Texas, he was immediately served with coleslaw and cornbread. <laughs> Scientists in Portugal accidentally created a mouse embryo with six legs and no genitals. Hmm. Six legs and no genitals? Sounds like Green Day. Oh. <laughs> I know this has nothing to do with our show, but uh, I just, you know. I'm a man bored. walking on a Cayman Islands beach discovered a bottle that contained a handwritten message. Here's what it said. Hmm. <laughs> Not really a joke there, but okay. Forbes just released the list of the world's billionaires, or as I call it, my list of people to kidnap. <laughs> the new study found that male menopause is real. Oh, so that's why I'm unable to get pregnant. <laughs> All right. So over the weekend, NBC News, which stands for nothing but crap, published a story <laughs> titled, They Came for Florida's Sun and Sand. They Got Soaring Costs in a Culture War. helped out our uh, our first story which involved fake news so i thought you guys might enjoy that if you just write me a note and see if i care no i, I would care actually i would never because that's how i am all right um i do miss johnny thunder i'm not gonna lie to you guys um but you know we're gonna we're gonna try to make this still happen um without him if that's this if, is why if, I if that's possible shopping. um you know so this next story um we talk about president trump and uh, his, Returning um, to the campaign trail with campaign a vengeance. Trail. The so ex-pres blitzing two battles. I'd say a couple of things uh, about this. I, I think that I've said yesterday, 80% of this is the White House responsibility right now because of the ability to do executive orders, and then you put pressure on Congress, and 20% is Congress. Um, it is amazing to me how serious this issue is in uh, the corresponding lack of action on everybody's side. Let's say we take President Trump at his word and he's going to be elected president in November. That means he wants us to wait seven months uh, and perhaps another two million people, a million and a half people entering the country illegally. And the numbers would probably drive up because it would go up because if we knew today that President Trump would win those outside of the country, they'd probably all rush in even more because they believe that President Trump will shut the border down. So let's just settle on two million. You have two million undocumented illegal people, however you want to describe them here. Uh, at some point, don't the American people deserve some action from the president and Congress? Uh, both sides. It's not fair that all, all the time and every time our political leaders strap on their political equipment, strap on their political warfare gear, and they go to war with each other every day uh, on television, in the newspapers, online, while everybody else suffers. We do it on guns. Whenever there's a gun thing, we always say there's mental health issues. We don't fund any mental health things. So, um, the, you know, it continues. It continues about the bad policies of of Joe Biden, and obviously the border is gonna, is going to be continue to be a problem. And what he's saying makes sense. I mean, we have to wait seven eight months for for Donald Trump gets elected. To, um, but we're going to absorb another two million, and by then, well, Biden's got another twelve million votes with the illegals coming across. And so, so what the, what they're saying is, hey. Let's not wait until then. Let's let's let's. I mean, the American people deserve this to stop in its tracks, and that's just what's not happening. So it's not so much for Trump; it's more against uh, the current administration and having them actually do some action with Congress and the president, which is not going to happen um, because it never it just does, never does. Um, you know, Biden wants as many illegal immigrants as possible for the Democratic Party. That's that's very blatantly obvious and clear. So, anyways, that's it. A um, few things. Hope you guys enjoyed some of those ex ex excerpts today. Um, 
uh, look for a full episode coming tomorrow and um, we'll have Johnny Thunder back and things will get back to normal and all this this um, chaos that I created today on the show. I am Chris Greenman and this is Patriot XL and thank you very much for joining and please hit like or follow or whatever those buttons are because that helps out our show and lets us keep coming to you and we um, we special thanks to all the new um, followers that we've had in the last couple weeks and the likes and the shares and that kind of stuff so we do it so anyways you guys have any ideas questions hit us up and if you want to be a guest on the show hit us up and tell us why you want to be a guest on the show and what you've done or what you what your thoughts are and we'll, we'll have you on all right all right you guys have a great night <laughs>